بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم من الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا من سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ما يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسوله تقدم معنا أن الفقه ينقسم إلى قسمين عبادات ثم معاملات والملحق بها نعم uh, We studied in the previous lessons that the study of fiqh is divided into two main categories Firstly عبادات the acts of worship and secondly المعاملات which are interactions and transactions تقدم معنا كتاب الطهارة and we studied previously the book of purification الصلاة the book of salah الجنائز the book of funerals الزكاة the book of الزكاة الصيام and fasting الحج and حج الآن ندخل في المعاملات so we studied this in the previous lessons now we will begin studying the section of المعاملات transactions and interactions أن أن المؤلف الآن والعلماء ألفوا بحسب الحاجة بحسب حاجتك أنت أول شيء تحتاج تبيع وتشتري نعم والناس بحاجة البيع والشراء لا وجد أحد لا يبيع ولا يشتري نعم and we mentioned that when the علماء when the فقهاء when they wrote these books they wrote them according to your needs so the first chapter they begin with when it comes to the section of muamalat is al buyu' wa shara is buying and selling why because each one of us is in need of buying and selling نعم نذكر قواعد مختصرة حتى نضبط هذا القسم كتاب البيوع البيع والشراء والإيجار نعم and we will mention concise principles by which we can understand the rulings pertaining to buying and selling renting and such matters الأصل في البيع الحل أو التحريم firstly the base default ruling when it comes to buying and selling and transactions is it that the asal is it is permitted and allowed or is the asal that it is haram يعني هؤلاء الآن يبيعوا هنا خارج المسجد يبيعوا مثلا كتب نعم أو يبيعوا في المطعم for example the, the management of the masjid outside the masjid or in the canteen area they are selling books هذا يقول حرام and this one says it's haram to do so تبيع الطلاب how can you sell to students? طلاب العلم تبيع عليهم. And these are students of knowledge, and you're selling books to them. هذا يقول حلال. And the other one will say, no, it's halal. من قوله هو الراجح. So which one of the two statements is correct? هذا الذي يقول حلال. هذا يدعي الحرام نقول هات الدليل. نعم. لكن هات الدليل لا بد يكون بأدب. ما تقول إيش دليلك؟ لا. نعم. تقول ما الدليل؟ بين لي إذا في دليل أذكر لي نعم أرجع بإذن الله مفهوم نعم so which one of the two views is correct and the correct view is that the أصل the base ruling or the default ruling when it comes to buying and selling is that everything is halal unless there is a specific evidence which makes it haram so that brother who was saying that no it's not allowed and it's haram you say to him give me your evidence but you ask him not in a rude manner Rather, you ask him politely that explain the ruling to me, explain the evidence done to me, what's the evidence for this? And if the evidence is clear, then I'll return back from my error. Sheikh Ibrahim in the supermarket, he buys. He buys food products. And Sheikh Ibrahim in his supermarket, he buys and sells. He sells. Tires. Uh, he, he sells food stuff and he sells planes. Cars. Sells cars. Hadid. Akshab. He sells metals and, and wood and computers. Uh, he sells mobiles. Al -asl al -hil. So the base ruling of selling these matters and anything else is that it is permitted and allowed. Yeah. And Sheikh Ibrahim says that nobody is allowed to tell me that something is haram for me to sell in my supermarket, supermarket except if there's an evidence which makes it haram. هذا الأصل. And this is the base ruling in Islam. نلخص الموانع في البيع في ثلاث موانع فقط أحسن. And we are going to summarize those matters which forbid a transaction and we will mention three matters specifically. يعني هذه 
الثلاث أشياء إذا جاء واحد منها في سوبر ماركت الشيخ إبراهيم جعل البيع حرام. So if any one of these matters are found in the supermarket of Sheikh Ibrahim, then that transaction or the selling of that merchandise, it becomes haram. واحد. نعم. الغرر. الغرر والجهالة. هذه واحد. قل أيوة غرر وجهالة. فقط قل غرر وجهالة. So the first thing which makes a transaction haram is al-gharar and al-jahala. Al-thani al-dhulm. Dhulm. Dhulm. Secondly, al-dhulm. Al-thalith al-riba. And then thirdly, al-riba. The Sheikh will explain. Nat-tadih al-an. Naam. Al-awwal gharar u jahala. So the first thing which makes a transaction haram is al-gharar u jahala. Dakhalna supermarket. If we enter into the supermarket, يوجد كرتون ليس مكتوب عليه شيء كراتين. and we find cartons and there is nothing written on the carton. ويكتب شيخ إبراهيم إنه أي كرتون من هذه الكراتين يوجد بداخله تلفون. وقيمة الكرتون ألف جنيه استرلينج. نعم. طب ممكن داخله ايفون ممكن داخله سامسونج ممكن داخله هواوي ممكن داخله التلفون الكشاف هذا القديم حقي لا مو حقك القديم ذاك ايه. نعم الغبي نعم هذا غرر وجهاله نعم سو اف فور اكزامبل ان ذا سوبر ماركت هي هاز ا كارتون اور ا بوكس اند ذير از نو رايتنج اون ذا بوكس اند اول ات سيز Is there is a phone inside these boxes? ممنوع الفتح ما تفتح الكرتون يقول أي واحد خذوها ممكن يكون في الداخل آيفون أربعة عشر يساوي مت ألفين مثلا نعم. And in each box is a phone, and he says that each box you pay a thousand pounds for the box, but you do not know which phone is inside that box. It may be an iPhone, it may be a Samsung or a Huawei. Or one of the other phones, or maybe one of the older phones, and you don't know what's inside that box, and neither does he allow you to open the box. But you have to pay a thousand pounds sterling for whatever phone is in that box. لا يقول أنا أريد أنظر ما هذا الجهاز. And if the customer says, but I want to check and know which phone is inside the box. قال iPhone. And then he says, well, it's an iPhone. طيب ممكن iPhone ستة. Okay, but this could be iPhone six. قال كل iPhone ثلاثة عشر. But if he said no, every iPhone in each box, it is iPhone 13. قال أريد أنظر هل هو ثلاثة عشر كاميرا أو كاميرتين بلاس أو لا الذاكرة كم نع لازم أعرف هذه الأشياء. قال لا 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 امش. And if the customer replies and says, but I want to look at the phone so I know which type of iPhone 13 it is, meaning how many cameras, what's the size of it. Uh, what's the memory in it? I want to see what the phone is. I want to look inside. And then هذا حرام. And so he says, no, you're not allowed to check which type of iPhone 13 it is. This is haram. البيع هذا حرام. لماذا؟ لأنه في غرر جهالة. So this transaction, it is haram because it contains الغرر والجهالة, which is an ambiguity. أو قال إبراهيم قال تدخل في قسم الجوالات أنت الآن. أغمض عينيك يضع عليه وقال أدخل أي جهاز تأخذه هو لك بقيمة كذا ميتين أو for example if he says enter into the section of mobile phones but close your eyes and any phone which you touch you can buy it for two hundred pounds and you've closed your eyes حرام this is also حرام طيب قال هذا عندنا محل في مانشستر مكتوب عليه كل شيء بكم باوند باوند موجود بباوند الحمد لله نعم if the brother said that we have a store in Manchester in which everything is for one pound حلال أو حرام so is this حلال أو حرام حلال لأنه واضح تنظر وفي الغالب أن سعرها واحد بل بعضها أغلى من واحد في الخارج نعم is this halal or not? It's halal. Why? Because you are able to enter into the store and you're able to check the details of each uh, merchandise which is being sold. And wow. in most cases, each piece is a pound or maybe more. 
يقول لك اسمع تشتري جوالي هذا أنت ما ترى قال تشتريه بمئتين ممكن هو يساوي مئتين ممكن يساوي خمسين ممكن يساوي ثلاثمائة هذا بيع لا يجوز نعم and sometimes people will say that this mobile phone which is in my pocket you can have it for 200 pounds but you're not allowed to look at the phone and perhaps that phone its value is 200 pounds and perhaps its value is 50 pounds so this is also haram طيب انتهينا هذا الاول نعم so this is the first type of thing which makes something haram and it is al-gharar wal jahala meaning an ambiguity and you don't know the details of the thing which you are buying aw yaqul lahu ما شاء الله هو عنده مرسيدس وبي ام وبورش وتايوتا خلاص وستروين وبيجو هذه السيارات انواع السيارات عنده هم يعرفوا هذول هذه انواع السيارات عنده نعم او بيجو بيجو نعم فرنسي نعم سو بابس هي هاز ا نمبر اوف كارز وذ هيم لايك هيز مرسيدس and a BMW and a Porsche and a Toyota and a Peugeot and all of these cars have a different value and he says that I'm going to sell you one of my cars but I'm not going to specify which car it is but you have to buy it for half a million. Haram. This is also haram. Tamam. Na'ti lithani. Al-dhulm. And it's haram because it contains gharar. Meaning you don't know exactly which car and the details of the car. So whenever there's ambiguity, gharar or jahala in a transaction, then it is haram. Now we come to the second matter which makes a transaction haram. Tayyib yaqul ana ashtari min internet. Hada. يقول أنا أشتري من إنترنت أشتري تليفون. If a person says, but I buy my phones from the internet. إنترنت يذكر لك أن هذا آيفون ثلاثة عشر. نعم. And even though you have not seen the phone itself, but on the website it will mention to you the model of the iPhone, meaning this is iPhone 13. iPhone Plus. And then it will mention to you that it is an iPhone 13 Plus. ذاكرة 256. And then its memory is 256. اللون سماوي. And its color is sky blue. ال الوكيل شركة كذا. And then the the agent is a particular company. يذكر لك كل شيء. So all the details of the phone are mentioned. هنا البيع صحيح. Here the transaction is correct. الثاني لأن ليس في الغرض نعم because there's واضح. there's no ambiguity in the merchandise it's clear and detailed الثاني الظلم now the second matter which makes a transaction حرام is oppression ظلم أخذ الشيخ إبراهيم جوال الشيخ أبو العباس وباعه بدون إذن so الشيخ إبراهيم he took the phone of Abu Abbas and he sold it without his permission Abu Abbas يقول لماذا and Abu Abbas says to him, "Why did you sell my phone?" "قال هذا تليفون. هذا ليس بالتليفون. أنا أبيع لك أحسن. نعم. والله أحسن لك. مصلحتك أنا." And he says to him that, "Do you call this a mobile phone? Is this really a mobile phone? I'll sell it for you, and it's worth it to get good price from it." "يقول أبو العباس لا حرام." But Abu Abbas says to him, "No, this is حرام. هذا ظلم. And this is oppression. كيف تبيع هاتفي من دون إذن مني؟ ألا لم أكلك؟" How are you selling my phone without my permission and I did not make you my representative? Because here, Ibrahim, he sold that which he does not own or have any right to. So, the second matter which makes a transaction haram is for you to sell something which you do not possess or own and this is dhulm oppression. Tamam. الثالث. And then the third matter which makes a transaction null and void is when the transaction it contains riba. نعم. شيخ إبراهيم في السوبر ماركت يبيع ذهب. So Ibrahim in his Sheikh Ibrahim in his supermarket he sells gold. 
وهذا جاء يريد يشتري هذا الذهب الخام قطع نعم اي نعم 1 كيلو ابلوك نعم and, and a person comes along and he wants to buy a 1 kilo block of gold تمام قال ابراهيم 1 مليون so ابراهيم says to him that 1 kilo block of a bar of gold it's a million pounds قال ما عندي مشكله and the buyer says i've got no issue with that اعطيني 1 مليون خذ هذه بطاقتي وهذا كل شيء فقط اذهب الى البنك الان اخذ 1 مليون واتيك مفهوم ايت يعني قال له الان ليس عندي كاش نعم. الان خمس دقائق اذهب الى البنك اسحب لك واحد مليون واتيك خذ هذا ضمان الاوراق وخذ بطاقتي وباسبور واتيك بعد خمس دقائق نعم. خرج خمس دقائق سحب من البنك وجاء اعطيه اتفقوا على مليون قبل ان يخرج اخذ الذهب هذا آه. واعطاه نعم. ما اعطاه المال قال خمس دقائق وارجع لك سو هي سيز ذات اي ونت تو باي اي 1 كيلو بار اوف جولد And Ibrahim, he sets his price. And he goes, okay, I'm happy with that price. Give me the one kilo bar of gold, but I don't have any cash with me right now. In five minutes, I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to take out the money and I'll come straight back to you and I'm going to give you the money which we agreed on. Take, uh, you can, and you can take guarantees from me. Take my phone, take my passport, take my card, keep these with you and, and give me the gold and I'm going to come with the money in five minutes. Haram. This is haram. Riba. And this is the riba. تمام. هذا زوجته قالت له هذا الذهب قديم لا أريد أريد جديد من عند شيخ إبراهيم في المكان محل نعم. And this brother, his wife said to him that this particular gold which I own is old and I don't like it and I want the new type of gold which is being sold in Sheikh Ibrahim's shop. زوجة هذا جمعت كل الذهب واحد كيلو جرام. So his wife. She collected all her gold and it came to one kilogram. قديم. But it's old. وجاء إلى شيخ إبراهيم. And then the husband brings the one kilo of old gold to Ibrahim. قال خذ هذا الذهب قديم وعطيني ذهب جديد عشان زوجة ترضى عني. نعم. And he said, take this kilo of gold which is old and give me new gold so I can give it to my wife and she can be pleased with me. قال تمام. أنا آخذ كيلو وأعطيك نصف كيلو جديد. And he says to him, okay, I will take a kilo of the old gold and in exchange, I will give you half a kilo of the new gold. And he says it's haram. Riba. Why? Because it is riba. But he replies, but the gold which you are giving me is old and the gold which I have is new and there's a difference between them. Haram. Lazim kilo bi kilo. And this is also haram. Why? Because gold has to be sold or exchanged in the same amount. A kilogram of gold for a kilogram of gold. قال أنت لو تذهب الآن تأخذ هذا واحد كيلو وتبيعه المبلغ قيمة نصف كيلو جديد. لا هو يعني لماذا أنت تصنع هكذا؟ خلاص أعطيني كيلو خذ نصف كيلو جديد. لا حرام. And if a person was to say, but if you right now, if you were to take this old gold. And you would sell it, even though it's a kilogram. However, its value is only will only match half a kilogram of the gold which I have. So why is it haram? خلاص. ماذا يصنع هذا? It's haram because it is the riba. Now, what should this one do? يذهب ويبيع الكيلو. A way out of this is for this person to go and sell the kilo of his gold. مع نقود الآن. مع نقود كاش. يا يا الشيخ إبراهيم واشتري منه جديد حتى لو نص كيلو لا إشكال الآن. So what he can do is he can go sell his gold for cash, the one kilo of gold for cash, and then with that money, then he can purchase whatever Sheikh Ibrahim is selling, even if it only comes to half a kilo. So this is how it is correct. Sheikh Al-Mithal Al-Awwal. Narjah Al-Awwal. Al-Awwal. Narjah Ibrahim قال لي هذا. اسمع تعال. نحسب. نعم. So Ibrahim said to him, okay, come now, let's calculate it, let's work it out. kilo. That which you have is a kilo. Yadrib hakada Ibrahim. Qal hadha kilo yusawi million. And Sheikh Ibrahim says to him that this kilo of gold which you have, according to my calculations on today's rate, it's worth, for example, a million. Qeematu million fi al-suq al-an. Meaning, 
its current value in the market is a million. اختار جديد. So choose whatever new piece of gold which you want. Which you want. اختار هو كيلو جديد. And he chose a kilo of new gold. قال خلاص القديم بمليون والجديد بمليون ونصف. ونصف. تعطيني نصف مليون. يصح. So if he said to him, let me check the value of the new uh, the gold which I have. He said, your kilo of gold, its value according to today's market is one million pounds. And the kilo of new gold which I am selling, its market on the value today is one and a half million. So let's exchange the gold, but give me an extra half a million. Is this correct? لا يصح. This is also not correct. قال قال طيب مسألة جديدة لا. Okay, a new example. قال له هذا معاه كيلو قديم قال لماذا أنا أبيع للخارج لإنسان خارج أنت اشتري مني يا إبراهيم يشتري منه بشرط لا يتفق معه أن هو يشتري منه بعدين لأنه ممكن هذا يقول أنا أشتري منك القديم بشرط أن تشتري مني الجديد بأغلى هذا ربع أيضا حرام تحايل And now there's another situation and that is that the one who is, wants to exchange a kilo of his old gold for the new, he says to him, instead of me going to a different shop, external to this, and going to sell to them, why don't I just sell the gold to you, and you give me the money, and then I will buy the new gold from you. And the Sheikh said that this is permitted as long as they don't have a prior agreement that he will buy the new gold with that money, meaning, he sells the old gold as a separate transaction and there's no agreement for him to buy the new gold and then separately he can buy the new gold if he wants but if there is a prior agreement then maybe they will try to find a way to bring riba into the transaction نعم طيب قال اريد اشتري منك كيلو ذهب بالتقسيط كريدت يعني كريدت بس المثال الاول خلنا نرجع أنت مش لا نعم معكم كيلو ذهب بالتقسيط كريدت يقول نعم if a person said to Ibrahim that I want to buy a kilo of gold but in installments كل شهر أعطيك نعم installments and every month I will pay off an installment يصح is this correct لا يصح لا بد في بيع الذهب بالذهب من التقابض يقبض هذا ويقبض هذا في مجلس العقد ولا بد من التماثل كيلو بكيلو وإلا كان ربع نعم Also this is not correct when it comes to buying gold because when it comes to buying or exchanging gold for gold or gold for currency then it has to be in one sitting and both the commodities have to be exchanged and it has to be immediate نعم إذا هذه ثلاثة أشياء تجعل البيع حرام هذه أعظم الموانع في البيع الغرر والجهالة والظلم والربا نعم so بس أوضح المثال طيب نعم just the last example which the sheikh gave the very scenarios the point was that when it comes to exchanging gold for gold or currency for gold it has currency. to currency كاش طيب نعم أني الذي تأخر وذهب إلى البنك خمسة دقائق. نعم. The point is that you cannot delay the exchange by five minutes or ten minutes. It has to be immediate, and the commodities have to be exchanged then and there. So these three matters which we have mentioned: firstly, al-gharar wal-jihala, ambiguities; secondly, al-zulm, oppression; and thirdly, al-riba. These are the main causes of a transaction being haram. نعم. ممكن إبراهيم يقول اسمع تذهب تأتي بالنقود من البنك اجعل عندي الذهب اذهب جيب النقود تعطينا النقود أعطيك الذهب يد بيد yeah. نعم يصح What's correct in the first scenario is if Sheikh Ibrahim said to his customer that I'm going to keep the gold with me and you go to, your, to the bank and go collect your cash and then when you, when you bring your cash then we will exchange but it has to be hand in hand meaning it has to be immediate you give me the cash I give you the gold Without delay. طيب أي معاملة قلنا اختلفنا فيها الأصل فيها الحل. نعم. We said 
that any form of transaction, that if we differ over this form of transaction, the base ruling is that it is halal. Now, أيضاً عندنا إشكال في أن الله سبحانه وتعالى يقول وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان. Also regarding the saying of Allah subhana the meaning of which is and cooperate and work with each other upon goodness and piety and do not cooperate with each other upon sinning and oppression نعم الشيخ ابراهيم يبيع في السوبر ماركت عنب عنب نعم عنب الشيخ ابراهيم in his supermarket he sells grapes حلال او حرام and is it halal or haram for him to sell grapes? Halal, ma fishkar. It's halal, and there's nothing wrong with this. هذا أتي يقول طيب ممكن بعض الناس يشتري منك العنب ويصنع منه خمر. So now, if a person comes to him and says to him that perhaps people are buying grapes from you, however they are manufacturing wine and alcohol from this from these grapes. طيب ممكن يص يأخذ ماء ويصنع منه. ماء يعني ما يضع حتى الماء إذا حرام يقول إبراهيم لا الأصل حل. But but the thing is that a person could buy water and could use water to also manufacture something which is حرام. يعني ما مع بعض الأشياء يصنع خمر ممكن. نعم ممكن نعم. So it's possible that even if a person was to buy water and then utilize some of this water to produce alcohol or something which is حرام. So Sheikh Ibrahim says. That the base ruling of buying and selling is that it is halal. طيب أيضا الجوال ممكن يستخدمه في حرام. And similarly, when it comes to the phones, it's possible that somebody might buy a phone from you and he's going to utilize it in a manner which is haram. أيضا كمبيوتر. And the same with the computer. كاميرا. And cameras. شاحن جوال ممكن أيضا. And even a mobile phone charger, it could be used in haram. نقول لا الأصل الحل. So our reply is, or our view is, that. The base ruling when it comes to buying and selling is that matters are halal. لكن لو جاء إنسان إلى الشيخ إبراهيم قال نريد منك توفر لنا طن من العنب. But if a person came to Sheikh Ibrahim and said to him that we want to purchase from you one ton of grapes. نريد يعني هو هذا يريد يصنع منه خمر. ويخبره. يخبره يقول له. And if he tells him that this ton of grapes, he is going to manufacture, or he is going to ferment them, so alcohol is produced. Sheikh Ibrahim says, "No, I do Allah. Haram. I am not in on the mercy of Allah." Here, Sheikh Ibrahim says to him, "I do Allah. This is haram, and I will not assist you upon sin." He says, "No, you are not making anything. You are not making anything. Buy it only. Buy it." He says, "No, I will not buy it for anyone who does not make mercy." أو الأصل هذا لكن إذا علمت أنك أنت تشتري مني للمعصية ما أعينك وإلا أكون شريك معك والله ما أبيعك and the buyer might say to him but I'm not asking you to do anything wrong or you to do anything haram you are merely selling those grapes to me and I'm doing whatever I want to do and Sheikh Ibrahim replies that as as long as the أصل remains that the أصل is halal I sell to everybody but if I know from you specifically that you are utilizing these products to make something which is haram, then I will not assist you in a sin. Otherwise, I am your associate and partner in this thing. Naam. A supermarket kabir jidda, mashallah. So this supermarket, mashallah, is big. Wajah ilayh rajul. And a man came to him. Qal nurid zawiyah saghira. Meter fi meter. And he said, we want a corner of the supermarket which is one square meter. Madha nasna? قال نريد نضع مكينة هنا لعب قمار قمار نعم إيش اسمه قمار جامبلينج والله أنا ما أعرف ميسر المهم يضغط كذا يضع ممكن هذا وتطلع له ممكن ما أول خمسين نعم so a a company or person he comes to Sheikh Ibrahim in his supermarket and he says to him that I'd like to rent from you a small corner of your supermarket one meter square and I'm going to place a gambling machine in that corner لا يجوز this is not permitted. تمام. القمار ما هو؟ What is قمار? What is gambling? المقامرة. صور القمار. اسمه؟ Gambling. تمام. فهو الآن 
يعني مثل اتصال عندكم احيانا يصنعوا مسابقه تتصل على رقم 700 او كم رقم هم ياخذوا من هؤلاء المتصلين 5 مليون ويخرجوا جائزه مليون واحد والغالب هذا هذا يشارك اما غارم او غانم حرام غانم يغنم او يخسر والكل في الغالب 90% ها غارب وممكن 10% وممكن 1% نعم and how does this gambling industry work it's like when sometimes you get text messages that if you ring this particular number for a small charge you have a chance of winning something and what happens is that the the company they go to so many people that they end up uh, with an income or turnover of 5 million pounds and then they pr prize the winner he may attain a million so they've profited 4 million and they've given a million to the winner and the reality is that those people who are taking part either they profit or they lose and in the majority of the cases 99% of those people are all losers and there is one person who may profit and this is haram نعم فهذه المسابقات اللي تسمع بها وكذا هذا كلها حرام so على هذه الطريقه نعم. so these competitions which all of you know and hear of and you receive these messages in this manner if you ring in and you're going to be charged x amount and then you have a chance to win this prize all of this is haram هذا يقول انا دفعت فقط لهم في المسابقة نصف هذا ايش هو؟ بنس بنس كم؟ هللا 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 واحد نعم إذا the person objects and he says but I've only paid 10 pence for my phone call or my text message even that is حرام تمام الشيخ إبراهيم سوبر ماركت يعني قلة المبيعات يريد المبيعات تزيد فصنع مسابقة في السوبر ماركت الجائزة الأولى مرسيدس الجائزة الثانية بورش تعرف بورش؟ نعم تمام نعم وضع البورش والمرسيدس هكذا في السوبر ماركت نعم uh, الشيخ إبراهيم his uh, زبائن his uh, customers أيوة. uh, and the turnover of his supermarkets is declining so in order to attract new customers he places uh, يعني an attraction there and he says that he displays his Mercedes and he displays his Porsche and he says that the winner will get one of these cars. نعم. يا صحيح حلال أو حرام. So is this type of attraction is this halal or haram? نقول لإبراهيم هل سعر المرسيدس والبورش هذا أنت تأخذ من الناس شيء اشتراك أو رفعت في الأسعار؟ قال لا أسعار كل شيء كما هو. أنا حتى أنشط البيع وضعت هذا وهذا. نقول صحيح جائز لا إشكال. So if Ibrahim asks, mm. نعم. so if Ibrahim asks that is this type of attraction, is this permitted, we ask him, are you charging people to enter into this draw? Or have you raised the price of your merchandise in order for people to enter into this draw? And if he says no, I myself, I am paying for the Porsche, I'm just using it to attract customers, but there's no entrance fee, and the merchandise is at his is as it was. Then we say that this is halal. تمام. قال لا. هناك ورقة إذا يريد يشترك في البورش والمرسيدس ورقة يشتريها بعشرة pence ويعبيها. نعم. نعم. لماذا؟ إجراءات شو؟ نعم. نعم. حرام. But if he says no. How this competition works is that each person buys a raffle ticket and the price of that raffle ticket is 10 pence or a pound and they place it in the box and then I choose a raffle ticket and the winner gets the Porsche or the Mercedes. Why? Because there's costs and there's admin fees and they, you know, I want to take out some of these costs. This is haram. Tamam. And this is a lot. They say only a book. A book is haram. Tamam. With the price. With the price, of course. And, and this is prevalent. I mean, there'll be a raffle ticket, a piece of paper. And this piece of paper is for a pound of particular price. It's haram. Now, supermarket. Allah. 
سوبر ماركت عنده الان ينزل تليفون جديد ايفون كم؟ 14 صح؟ هو يصنع مسابقه على ايفون 13 نعم مفهوم؟ نعم نعم So now there's a new iPhone which is about to come out and it is iPhone 14 14 نعم لم ينزل بعد نعم. but it hasn't uh, been released yet لكن هو عنده كميه كثيره من 13 and because of this iPhone 14 which is which the release is ensuing he has uh, many iPhone 13s and therefore he wants to make a competition ماذا صنع so what did he do قال عندنا مسابقه سيارة مرسيدس الذي يربح ياخذ سيارة مرسيدس في بيع تليفون 13 يعني المسابقة فقط على الهاتف 13 نعم ايفون نعم مرسيدس الجائزة نعم لكن ماذا صنع؟ التليفون 13 كان يباع عنده في السوبر ماركت ب 1000 وعندما صنع المسابقة جعل الايفون 1010 قال العشرة هذه من اجل ماذا على المسابقه فهذه العشرة ممكن تخرج له 10 مليون ودفع مليون واحد حق الجائزه ايضا قمار مفهوم اذا رفع سعر السلعه من اجل الجوائز حرام ورقه من اجل الجوائز يبيعها حرام نعم قمار so, so for example if the iphone 14 is about to be released and he has much stock of iPhone 13 and he wants to get rid of his iPhone 13s so what he says is he makes the prize which is his Mercedes and he says that buy the iPhone 13s and one of those people who buys all these iPhones one of them he will be the winner and he will win the Mercedes now the iPhone 13 it was for example a thousand pounds but in order to enter this competition he has increased the price of each iPhone by 100 pounds or 200 pounds. This now is also haram. Tamam. صنع تخفيض على الآيفون 50% discount. And let's say if he discounts the iPhone 13 by 50%. يصح. Is it allowed for him to discount the price? نعم يصح لا أشكر. نعم it's permitted. قال الذي يشتري من السوبر ماركت ب 1000 نخصم له 10%. يشتري ب 1000 باوند نعم نخصم له 10% فاكثر في اي شيء يشتري نعم. يصح نعم ان اف هذه التخفيضات اللي نعم. تصنع نعم ان اف هي سايز ذات هو ايفر بايز ان ايفون فروم ذا ماركت توداي فروم ماي سوبر ماركت توداي هي ويل هاف ا جنرال 10% ديسكاونت اون اني ثينج ايلس ان ذا سوبر ماركت هذا حلال حلال طبعا ذس از اولسو حلال اي نعم ما في اشكال لانه الاصل الحل اختلافنا اصل الحل من يقول حرام هو اللي ياتي بالدليل and this is also halal why because the base ruling when it comes to buying and selling is that matters are halal unless there's an evidence which specifically makes it haram والله اعلم صلى الله عليه وسلم محمد وعلى صحبه وسلم جزاكم الله خيرا